Hi everyone, this is Fikayo of Fikitao.com and today we uh, we in this tutorial we're going to be creating a simple PHP page heat counter. Sometimes you might want to monitor the number of times a user has visited a particular page on your site. So um, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at a very awesome way of using PHP to do that. Um, this quickly is what we're going to be doing. As you can see, this page says "Check it out PHP tutorials." That's my page, and um, I have here yeah, a phrase that simply tells me this page has been viewed. Then this, sorry about that. This shows me the number of times the page has been viewed. So you see, when I refresh this page, and now I have sixteen, and I refresh again, seventeen, eighteen, and all this values these values is stored in a database and is quickly updated so that's what we're going to be creating in this tutorial uh first uh i have here in my php my admin uh i have a table called page hits page hits has three columns page id page name and page hits so the first thing you want to do is to um, set up a table in your database to count the number of hits for each page the page ID is just going to be is an auto incrementing column and it's going to be the unique value that's going to be used to recognize each page. The page name is any name you want to give your page, then the page its column is the uh, column that actually holds the number of its that a page has. Uh, you might your table might be um might have more columns than this, but these are just the three basic ones we're going to be using in this tutorial because they totally show what we want to achieve. Now I have here a simple page that I'm going to be creating a count I'm going to be setting a counter on using PHP. Just a simple HTML page that says PHP page counter. And uh here in my code you can see I have the basic HTML structure and I have my title set it counter and h2 header with there with PHP page counter in between. So <coughs> what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is that I'm going to be creating two functions. First, let me put my PHP code block there. Okay, and zoom in so that you guys can see this better. Okay, good. That's much better. So I I open my PHP block. I said I'm going to be creating two functions, and I'm going to be calling the two functions on this page. The first function is going to update the um, number of times the page has been viewed whenever this page is loaded it's going to update the uh, count the number of counts or the, the, the number of hits by one and the function the second function is simply going to get the number of hits for this particular page but before I do that I first have to register this page in first I have to register this page in my database so I go to my database table page hits and I click insert click insert waiting for that to come up okay good so uh, this is actually an auto incrementing column so I don't need to fill anything here here we just put uh, php page it's counter That's all I have to do to just just for me to register the page. The page hits column is set to zero by default, and um, it increases every time the page is loaded. So I'll just register the page. Good. I have my page hits column, and I'll browse to see that everything works well. Yeah, you see, these are the page the page ID of two. PHP page hits counter and. Uh, the you now the hit starts at zero by default. Okay, so I'll go jump back into my code, and the first thing I'm going to be doing is connecting to my database. So that's my SQL connect SQL connect, and um, 
actually running this on a local host username root and password I have no password set yeah. Let me save that next I'm going to select my database my SQL select DB and database I'm using is actually named tutorials so that's the database I'm going to be selecting yeah so now we've um, successfully made our connection and just put a comment here so that you guys can flow what I'm doing so so we made our connection and here we've uh, selected our DB Selected our database so quickly next I'm going to be doing now is creating my first function and this function is going to be I'm going to call it uh, let's add it so it has one every time the page is loaded it has one increments the hits by one so I'm just going to get save function Hard hits camel case hard hits and this function is going to collect the page ID so I can reference the page uniquely and I'm going to just comment uh, and hard hits the inside here I'm simply going to make a simple SQL query let's say my SQL Query. Put my comment. Sorry, my quotes. It's my colon there. Then I'm um, to say. No, I'm going to set an update system statement. Update the table page hits. Set the page hits column. To be equal to the current value current value in the page hits column plus one where page ID equals the page ID I'm passing in ID. good so here we have a our SQL statement that is going to update the number of hits for the particular page with which uh, the page ID is passed in for example the page we created now has an ID of 2 so when we pass 2 into this it updates the page hits column for that uh, page so I'm going to save that then um, quickly to just test that I'm going to call it down here you actually have to call your function before it comes into play so I'll say call hard hits and I'm simply going to say hard hits and I'll supply an argument of 2 that's the ID of my page and save that so we made our connection we selected the database tutorials then we created our first function which is hard hits that uh, takes in a page ID argument and uh, it updates the page hits table in this uh, database tutorials and sets the page hits column to the current value plus one it adds one so let's just test that and see that it's working and now I'll go to my page we load nothing really is there to display I'll reload it again. Now this is two times. I actually reloaded it two times, so I'm expecting to see a count of two. So I go to my database, then I'm going to browse again. Just going to browse again. Now as you can see for page ID two, I now have the page it's set to two. That's two hits already. So our counter is working perfectly. 
next function we're going to be creating is the function that we get the number of hits quickly just say um get hits function the function its function yeah, get hits yeah camel case then um I'm also going to pass in the page ID so that it uh, picks a particular page uniquely. Opening and closing, closing curly braces and put a comment here. So, and get hits. Good. And get hits. So inside get hits, what I'm simply going to be doing is um, I'm going to create a variable called hits and uh, I'll inside this variable or rather this variable because it's going to be equal to a query that I will send to my database to retrieve the number of hits for this particular page with the stated page ID so I'm just going to do a select statement here select everything from the table page hits where page id equals the value passed in okay then i'm going to retrieve that into another variable got page hits be equal to mysql fetch fetch as so array I'm going to pass in my hits and uh, save that then I'm going to make this function return the number of hits. Just simply going to say return from the array of values that has been collected. Return the page, the value in the page hits column. Okay. Quickly, I'm going to explain this function. First, um, I'm querying the database to receive to retrieve. Uh, all the information concerning this page with the stated page ID then I pass that uh, variable into MySQL fetch associative array and place it in another variable called page hits now I'm making my function to return the page hits I can actually make my function to return more information than that by just setting the values in an array but in this tutorial I'm just concerned about the hits so I'm just make it return the page hits so I will come down here set a paragraph a paragraph then I think my paragraph I'm going to say this page as let me just make this h3 h3 so that you can see it very well make h3 scroll down put it into view h3 this page has been viewed now up here i'm going to quickly call my get hits function so that I already have number of hits. Just going to save it inside variable hits. Or well, yeah, it's hits count. Hit count and hit count is going to be equal to get hits. I'm going to pass a page ID of two. Yeah, it counts. So yeah, I simply just say this page has been viewed 
we're going to echo out the value of hit count count okay times and just to make uh, the number of counts distinct i'm going to style it a little bit just by putting a span tag around it and style it to have um, a color value of red it's red and we just close my span tag here good so what i simply did here was that um after creating the get its function up here actually gets number of its i call it into a variable so that this variable now contains the number of hits for this particular page with an id of two then to display i will just simply say this page has been viewed then i'll echo out the value that is uh, containing its count you might not be doing it on your page you might just be you might just be cool with storing it in a database so you might not even need to create a get hits function but at least in this tutorial we have to see what we're doing so I'm just going to go back to this page I'm going to refresh it again and now I have three you know it was initially two so now that I've reloaded it we now have three four five six it's a very smooth and cool way to set a page it count on your page and monitor how many times the your users are actually viewing your page so i hope you guys get the idea i hope you learned from this tutorial and uh, i encourage you to keep visiting fakeitout.com and um, we have a PHT, php dvd coming up you might want to check that out and uh, when it's out purchase it so that you can learn more in the power of php so thank you very much and uh, see you next time.